Hi. Now in this video, what I want to do is talk to you about multiplying a vector by a scalar. So suppose I had this vector here, say a, and I took this vector again. Now if I multiplied it by 2, doubled it, then it's going to look like this. It's a vector that is twice as long then as the vector a going in the same direction. So I could replace this vector by a vector called 2a. If I multiply the vector a by say 3, then I get a vector that is three times as long going in the same direction. And we call this multiplying a vector by a scalar. The scalar in this case is the number 2. If I multiplied it by 3, it would be 3. Now, suppose this vector a, if it was drawn in three dimensions, let's say the vector a was, say, given by the column vector 2, minus 4, 6. Then, written in unit base vectors, that's going to be 2i minus 4, j plus 6k. So if we had to look at the vector 2a, then the vector 2a just would be to double this. We would write this then as two lots of 2 times minus 4 times 6, and that clearly gives us the column vector 4 minus 8, 12, just by doubling each of the values in the vector. Or, obviously, in terms of i's, j's, and k's, that's 4i minus 8j plus 12k. Now, I've got an example for you that you might like to try. Very easy, but just it gives you further practice. So, if, for instance, we take the vector a as we've got it here, let's say we've got a vector b, and if we double it, 2b, in other words, we get three times the vector a. And you've got to find out what the vector b was. So you might like to pause the video at this stage, just give it a go, and I'll take you through the solution when you come back. OK, so let's see. We've got the vector b. If we divide both sides by 2, b is going to be equal to 3 over 2 times the vector a. So we've just got then 3 over 2, 1 and a half if you like, multiplied by the column vector a, 2 minus 4, 6. So we've got 2 minus 4, 6. And if you do 1 and a half times each of these values here, you end up with the column vector 3 minus 6, 9. Or you could write it in terms of i's, j's, and k's, and that's going to be 3i minus 6j plus 9k. So a very easy idea then, multiplying a vector by a scalar.